Hello Math Champions, welcome to Worksheet 6.2 on Measuring Mass. Before I go through this worksheet, let's go through what is the meaning of the word mass. Okay? If you have forgotten, mass is used to measure how light or how heavy something is. Okay? If something is light, what unit do you think we use to measure it? It is grams and the short form is G. Okay, if something is heavy, we use the unit of kilograms and its short form is kg. Hopefully now you remember and let's go through this worksheet together. Question 1. What is the mass of these objects? So part A, you can see here there's a weighing scale and what is on top of this weighing scale? It is an apple. We are now measuring the mass of this apple. And so the weighing scale has the arrow moving all the way until it points at, what is this number here? It is 100. 100 what? Grams. How do I know that this weighing scale is measuring in grams? Because the letter G, okay? It shows here the letter G, so this weighing scale measures in grams. Okay, so don't forget that. So I'll write down the mass of the apple is how many grams? 100, okay? Because the arrow is pointing at 100. And why am I not writing G? Why am I not writing G? Because the question has already written down the unit for you. So you don't have to write it down another time, okay? So that ends this question. Let's move on to the next one. Now let's solve part B. Again, we can see a weighing scale and on top of it this time is a mango. We are going to measure the mass of this mango. So the question says, the mass of the mango is how many grams? Now, if you look here, the arrow is not pointing at any number. It's pointing at one of the small lines. Now, what does this line mean? It's not pointing at 100 and it's not pointing at 200. So the mass cannot be 100 or 200. It's somewhere here. Now, what does it mean? How do we solve this kind of question? Now, let me teach you. I am now going to use this worksheet to help you to read the weighing scale better and to tell you what all these little lines stand for. Okay, now we have a weighing scale that measures in grams. I'm going to use this pencil here as the arrow, okay? And imagine we are placing something on top of this weighing scale and the arrow moves until here. What is the mass of this object? 100 grams, okay? What is the mass of the object now? 200 grams, right? 200 grams. What is the mass of the object now? 300 grams. Simple enough. Let's do a harder one. Now the arrow points here, okay? At one of these lines here. Do you remember how to count in tens? Let's do it now, starting from zero, okay? So zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, right here, okay? So let's write 40. So what is the mass of this object? 40 grams. So every time you see one of this, you start counting in tens, okay? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then what do you see here? 100, right? So each of these lines is actually standing for 10 grams each, okay? Now, if we move on and imagine another arrow over here, what will it be? Again, 100, 110, 120, and finally, 130. So again, we are counting in tens. So all you have to do, if let's say I point here, okay, at another arrow, okay, what is this mass? 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, and then finally 180. So the mass of this object will be 180. I'm counting in tens, okay? Now, final example, before we move on to the question again. So let's say I point here. What is the mass of this object? So I'm not going to count all the way from here, okay? Let's do the shortcut. I see 100 over here, I see 200. Let's start counting in tens. 210, 
220 and finally what's the mass 230 yes correct okay shall we do one more yes we shall okay now let me point another one see if you know how to do it yourself let's point here what is the mass it's not 400 what is it so 400 count in tens 400 410 yes the answer is 410 I feel like doing another one okay what is it now let's point here okay so what is the mass of this object now 500 510 520 530 okay counting in tens every time the keyword is count in tens okay all right so let's move on back to the worksheet so now i have taught you how to read the weighing scale and what those little lines mean let's do the shortcut now okay so 100 200 now let's start counting in tens okay 210 220 so what is this 230 grams see not that difficult after all remember just remember do not need to write g because the g is already here okay the question already wrote down the unit for you so you just have to write 230 don't have to write the g again okay next question we now come to question two and let's read it together find the mass of the objects and arrange the objects in order okay let's find the mass of the objects first starting with this papaya up here so it's on top of the weighing scale and the arrow is pointing at what is this number 100 200 300 400 so the papaya is 400 grams don't need to write the g the g is right here okay and what is this this is a pencil case so let's look at the mass 100 200 300 400 it's in the middle so let's count in tens again all right so starting from 300 310 320 330 340 and finally we get to the arrow which is 350 so hopefully you know how to count in tens by now 350 grams okay now what's the mass of the oranges let's see 100 200 300 400 500 600 and the arrow is pointing here okay now the lines are getting even smaller oh my eyes so 610 620 630 640 and 650 okay so remember to always count in tens always use this worksheet and remember that whenever the arrow points somewhere in between okay just count in tens so 10 20 30 40 50 60 okay all right so without further ado let's arrange the three objects from the heaviest to the lightest keyword heaviest and keyword lightest heaviest over here so write lightest to help you to remember heaviest over here lightest over here in the middle over here now look at these three things look at the three objects which is the heaviest among all these three the largest number right so 650 grams is the largest do we write 650 over here nope they're asking for the objects okay so let's write oranges over here oranges okay so what is the next smallest number which is the next lightest object the papaya so let's write papaya not 400 okay do not write 400 over here they're not asking for that they're writing they're asking you to write the objects okay what is the name of the objects finally the lightest is the pencil case okay so the pencil case is the lightest okay let's move on to the next question question three is about length so this is actually a revision question so it's asking you to solve the word problems let's go through it very quickly okay the length of an eraser is 4 cm. Ken places 5 erasers side by side, like that. What is the total length of each of the erasers? Okay, so all the erasers, what is the total length from here all the way to here? Okay, put a question mark because that is what we want to find. What is the length? Okay, 
So how long is one eraser? Four centimeters. Four, 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 four. So it wants you to add all these up. And so does it look familiar to you? Four plus four plus four plus four plus four. Is there a shortcut to this? Yes, there is, and it's also known as multiplication. Right? So we just write GET for our multiplication equation. How many erasers are there? There are five erasers. So five groups. And how long is each eraser? Four centimeters, right? Each one is four centimeters. So five multiplied by four will give you what is the total? What is the total length? Five fingers on the four times table. What do you get? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. All right, so the total length is 20 centimeters. The total length is 20 centimeters. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Question D, mother has a ribbon that is 350 centimeters long. She cuts out 123 centimeters of the ribbon to tie a parcel. What is the length of the ribbon left? Hmm, so, Mother has a ribbon that is 350 centimeters long, right? So I'm going to quickly draw a model, okay? You don't have to be very neat with it. You can use a ruler if you want to. I'm just trying to draw it faster. 350 centimeters long. So I'm going to write down 350 cm and draw the model for you. 350 centimeters, right? Okay, now she cuts out use a scissors to cut out 123 centimeters of it. So imagine that she cuts here, okay? So 123 centimeters. She cuts this one out, okay? To tie a parcel. Do you know what tie a parcel mean? Okay, it means something like that. So let me draw a box, okay? And the ribbon is used to tie it up like that. Okay, I'm not trying to draw something nice. I'm just going to show you so you can understand. Don't judge my present. Okay, so 350 cm, take away 123 centimeters. What is the length of the ribbon left? This is the key word. Okay, so this is a minus question. We, it's a subtraction question. So we need to write a subtraction equation. So this is the whole minus part will give you this part. Okay, so 350, okay, whole, which is the whole, minus part of the ribbon, 123 centimeters, which is one part, will give you the last part. What is it? Let's do our working here. Oops, I used it to draw the present. No problem though. HTO, okay, and 350 minus. 123. Very quickly, let's solve it. Can 0 take away 3? Nope. Let's do renaming. Okay, so 4. Okay, and we'll put the 1s over here. So 10 minus 3. What does it give you? 10 in my head show 3. It will give you 7. Okay, this is the correct answer. So let's move on. 4 now. 4 minus 2 will give you 2. And 3, take away 1, will give you 2. So the answer is 227. If you had an issue over here, if you need more practice, go to my other videos on addition and subtraction. Okay? And you will see a lot of my examples over there. So what is the answer? 220 centimeters left. So 227 centimeters left. Okay? That's the answer. And I'll see you in the next video.